Pappy, I just got a new tool set, but I don't know how to use it. Can you help me? Sure, I can. Welcome back to Pappy Tinkers. Last week, a friend of mine got a, a new tool set that's got the ratchets and the sockets and the pliers and the wrenches and stuff in it. And she got excited and she ordered a, a shelving unit to put together. And it came with the little screws that it usually comes with. But she didn't know how to use the tools, so she just tightened all the screws, screws by hand. The woman has some strong hands. But I'm going to show you how to use these real quick what they are and and how you can get around with, with them so these four things we're going to set this off to the side for a minute these four things are ratchets even though they're different sizes different shapes and different brands they all do the same thing you put one of these sockets on it and you use it to turn one of the screws that have a, a the hex head shape like this there's nothing to it, it's just that if you haven't used it, you might not know what to do. So the first thing is putting something on it. Now some of them, like this one, will have this little button on top right here. What this button does, and let's see here, is it allows this little ball right there to retract So you can put a socket on it. If I don't have that button pushed, the socket won't go on it. I don't know what kind of tool kit my friend has, but I'm just showing her the different kinds so that she can do it. But as soon as we press this button, the socket slides on nice and easy. And it won't come off unless we press this button again. Not all of these have that. Some are just regular you push them on till you hear a snap and then pull them off. You do want to make sure they have a you hear the little snap. There's a groove inside that the ball fits into to help lock it in place. So you've got your socket on your ratchet and which way to turn it? Righty tighty, lefty loosey? Well, most of them aren't going to show up here which one's on and which one's off. So what I do, I simply grab it, grab the socket, and I'll turn it. And you'll feel the ratcheting action. action. So if I want to loosen, loosen something, this is already set. If I want to tighten something, I just turn that. I don't know if you can hear the ratcheting because this one isn't, isn't very loud, but that's how it works. Some brands have a little switch like this that you go right and left, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Some have more of a triangle thing, that, but they all work the same way. You turn this little knob to go from tightening. Let's see if we can hear the ratchet. There we go. And you turn it the other way and it loosens. Easy peasy. These are of course called the sockets. On these it'll be marked different sizes. It'll either be in English or in metric. These just happen to be English. Nowadays metrics more useful but there's still a lot of things that crossover and still use the standard sizes. So how do you pick the right socket for this little screw? You don't have to go through all the things of measuring. You just go down the line till you find one that it fits in. And we see that this one is 5 16 We'll put that on our ratchet and then go to tighten it. 
Very simple, very easy. If it doesn't fit, try the next size. Like this one right here, should be about one quarter if I'm guessing right. Yep, one quarter for this particular size. As an added bonus, her particular tool set came with uh, an Allen bit, but not the Allen wrench. So it was just a random bit like this. And she took all of those screws and she tightened them by hand like this. I'm pretty impressed. I'm very impressed. But if you didn't know, all these screwdrivers that have the replaceable bits like this, they all fit the same size. This is all standard. It'll fit Phillips, slotted, Allen bits, and all the rest of the different kinds. In addition, if you don't have this uh, scr screwdriver with uh, replaceable bits like this, you can even use these sockets because it comes down to the same size and that'll fit right in there like this. It's the quarter inch for your bits. Easy peasy. Hey, thanks for watching this really basic video. And I know most of you guys know this out there, but for some that didn't want to ask, now you know. Come back and see us again on Pappy Tinkers.